What's up everybody, Mr. Play Dr. Gaming here, back with another video for y'all today. And today we're gonna be looking at Overwatch 2 Season 3 trailer. So everybody knows that Overwatch Season 3 is supposed to drop tomorrow, and I gotta say, I'm very excited for Overwatch 3 Season 2. Me Overwatch 2 Season 3. I don't know why if today, but every time I about to say Overwatch 2 Season 2, I end up saying Overwatch 3. I, don't, I do not know why it just something I've just been saying all day. I don't know why. Probably because I'm kind of excited for the season. Season one and two, in my opinion, was okay. But to be honest with you, I kind of think those two seasons were lackluster. Even though season two did have a new hero in Mantra, I didn't think season two overall just it was just mid. So I hope season three can redeem both season one and two for me. But overall, Overwatch 2 have been a pretty good game, and I've been really enjoying it. So yeah, let's see what Season 3 had to bring for us. Alright, let's hit it. The path shapes me. The spirits perfect. Okay, I'm going to be pausing a lot throughout this video, so yeah. But I got to say... This skin alone, this skin alone is the only reason I probably gonna buy the season three battle pass. Cause dude, that skin look dope as hell. Come on now, bro. Ninja, this Kiriko skin, I say is one of her better ones. No, yeah, you can earn. You can actually earn credit by playing the game. Like you couldn't all watch one. Misery made none of us. So you can actually earn skins. <laughs> but I had to spend a fortune on skins. Because I spent spend $20. We got them, Snowball. I'll light my own path. Hey. Lure me out. I dare you. Hey, you can sweep the variants. That kind of cool. Oh, you can do control map. I feel unstoppable. He marked the turn. Sound like this. That was so cool. Let the Kitsune guide you. Damn, dude. Truly an honor. One punch is all I need. Oh, that like an enemy or something? Love punch, man. So they're doing crossovers. Dude, that's a visible McCree. Not McCree, but Cassidy. So wait a minute, how in the world will you know? Well, you kind of can see his goggles. You can say that kind of like headshot level, but really? I don't know about that skin. I don't really too much know. Probably can say not. It, it, it's it's kind of weird. It gets a it's a weird skin. I ain't gonna lie. It, it it's something different. But uh, I don't know how that's gonna affect gameplay. I don't think it'll have no effect on gameplay. But I think if you can't see, you can't see like his head or something. Well, he got floating goggles, so I'm pretty sure you can just like see the goggle and just aim for them, trying to get like headshots and stuff. But honestly, I think I'd already rather have his full head than having just just that. That that how we made anyway. You're in the presence of a legend. And yeah, that's Overwatch 2 Season 3. I like this dark word. I don't, I don't know who made this, but Blizzard need to hire somebody that made this end title card. For so that been Overwatch 2 Season 3. Like, for, for, for me, I think this is going to be a step up from Overwatch 2, Overwatch 2 Season 1 and 2. I think Season 3 is going to be a huge improvement over these two. Like I just I just recently just saw the trailer. The trailer had been posted like four hours ago. I would have made a video earlier, but I had to go to school. And I really didn't see this until just now. 
So yeah, season three is shaping up to be a really cool season, I guess. So let's go back for a minute here. Spirits. So we got the uh, Kiriko Ninja skin. We got the Kiriko Ninja skin. I gotta admit, bro, this skin alone, for real, is the reason I probably gonna buy the battle pass. Because look at this, bro. This is this is like one of the most. This is like one of the most created Kiriko. I think it's even better than the Jungle Queen. The Jungle Queen um, Zeus skin. Be honest with you. I think this skin. This skin just look more cleaner. I don't know why. To me, this skin just look more clean. Then the Jungle Queen, then the Jungle Queen uh, suit skin, but I don't think it's better than the um, Genji side the Cyber Genji skin. I think this skin for me is like a close second when it comes to Mythic skin. I don't too much. I don't too much like the Jungle Queen one for real. I'll be honest with you. So we got that. This is what I'm kind. This is what this is what I'm kind of excited for too. You can earn credit by playing the game, like you could in Overwatch One and Two. We not oh, I'm gonna talk Overwatch Two. No, Overwatch One. If you if you are if you um uh, never play Overwatch One, you could earn credit just by playing the game. Well, they probably talk, talking like in a different content. You probably gonna earn credit just by just leveling up. So they give free to play. They give free to play players something to work towards. So. I'm glad Blizzard actually giving free to play players something to actually do besides just play the game and hope they in hope and hope they buy the battle pass because that'd be other where I said Overwatch 2 free to play progression system is not the best. It kinda it kinda lackluster. Okay, that's that like a pretty good Genji skin. I think this in the battle pass. That's a battle pass skin. That's a battle pass skin, so the battle pass skin look better. That's a paid skin. That's a paid skin. Hey. Okay, that one look kind of hit. That look dope as hell, actually. So. So the um. So the so the skins that are battle pass is gonna be Moira, Kiriko, Reaper, and Junkrat. And I gotta say, these skins look a whole lot better than season two skins. I don't know why. I don't know why, but seeing two skin kind of, kind of just, kind of just look like a recolor to me. I don't know why. I think these skins are way more worth it than season two skin. I don't know. Probably just me, probably. Now these skins, I think they look pretty cool. Especially that May skin. They, this Genji skin and that May skin look kind of good. Ain't gonna lie. I don't know about that Ash skin. To be honest with you. The Diva skin look decent. Zenyatta skin look decent. The only thing I can say that kind of look look a bit look, look a bit awful is the Ash skin. I don't know why I don't like the Ash skin. I probably just if I ever do get this skin, I probably get it for like the gun model. Cause I think the gun model look cool. But her skin overall, I don't think so. And of course, it's just showing off the different variety of color you can get in the Kiriko skin. Oh yeah, the Antarctica Peninsula is the new control map. So yeah, this this map look kind of dope. Ain't gonna lie, this map look kind of awesome. This is our first Blizzard map, I believe. I believe Overwatch One didn't have no ice map. I believe this is gonna be our first official ice map. I mean, first official ice map of Overwatch when it comes to the standard gameplay. I know if you play like. The arcade mode, you get the ice map. But I mean, like a regular old Overwatch ice map, without having to go to the arcade to play it. So I believe this map is gonna be is the first official, real ice map Overwatch got. So that that's pretty awesome. And of course, you got a different, you got a different variety of Kiriko skins, colors, or variants. Now this right here, just this kind of um, this kind of make this kind of look cool. They, they finally doing crossovers. They finally doing crossovers. So since they start doing crossover, and the crossover would be successful. I feel like Overwatch 2 gonna start doing like more crossover and the crossover is gonna get crazier and crazier. I'll be honest with you, I never watched One Punch Man. 
never really into anime, be honest with you. Like, I'm not an anime, per an anime person. But it, the fact that they put an anime character in Overwatch 2 or an anime character skin in Overwatch 2 kind of is a good sign that Blizzard are finally now doing crossover with other, with, uh, with other properties. So I think that's pretty neat as well. Of course, you got all you got the Overwatch, you got the Overwatch League event skins, which I think is pretty cool. Dude, what what skin is this? Hold on, wait a minute. Not, not that much skin, but of course, the Mercy skin don't look bad. What are these skin? These skin like part of Battle Pass or something? Like these skin, like I wanted these skin like part of Battle Pass because they kind of look good. Ain't gonna lie. You got the B Mercy and you got the Beekeeper Sigma, so that kind of cool. Now this is skin right here that I want to see the Rocker Junker Queen. Come on now, I hold this in the battle pass. I ain't gonna lie, I hold this skin be like tier thirty or something because I can't lie. Junker Junker Rockstar Junker Queen look pretty neat. So yeah, that's season three. So that's season three in a nutshell, everybody. Yeah, season three to me seems like it's gonna be a more better season than season one and two. Season one and two for me was okay. I ain't gonna say it was some. It was to. It was something to blow your own pop over. But season one and two was all right. But I think season three is gonna be like one of one of the better season of Overwatch. This, this is how I feel Overwatch 2 should have been like when it first launched. This feels like the real Overwatch 2. I think season 1 and season 2 was like appetizers. But this is the main course. So yeah, I think highly of season 3. I think season 3 is going to be one of my favorite seasons of Overwatch 2. Now don't get me wrong, they can disappoint me about season 3. We had not played it yet, so I can't really say too much about season 3. Other uh, than it looked good, but we can't. I, I can't wait to see how it actually plays, and I can't. And I can't wait to see what balance changes they made as well. But I think they're gonna be another video of the balance of the balance changes. So yeah, keep a lookout for that. Anyway, it's been Mr. Play Dr. with another video. I'm signing out. See y'all next time. Peace.